I'm Anil Kumar and here is a quiz for you on representing points on polar coordinates. Now let me take few points as point A. We'll take it as 2 and let the angle be uh, let us say 45 degrees. Right. And point B let it be man r s 1. So normally we'll represent polar coordinates in r and theta. Now theta could be in degrees or in radians. So let us take few points in degrees. Let's say we have another point which is uh, this 120 degrees but minus 120 degrees. Okay. Point C for us will be negative, uh, let's say negative 2 and the angle be be 60 degrees. Okay. So these are the angles given in degrees. Let me take few in radians. So let's say point D is uh, magnitude 3 and the angle is pi by let us say 5 pi by 4. Okay. So, so these are few points which you can practice and then we'll move forward. So let me sketch the polar coordinate plane for you. So we'll do it in uh, like this. These points uh, this plane will represent the polar plane for us. That's the pole. And this is the real axis which we have, which we call as the polar axis. Good. So here is our pole, which we'll say is our origin, and that's the polar axis. You need to plot these points. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. A, our value is 2, theta is 45, always go for the angle first. In our case, the angle is 45 degrees. So from here, positive 45 means it will go counterclockwise 45 degrees and a magnitude of 2. So normally you will do on a graph paper which looks like this. So these concentric circles are unit apart. You can see these angles also 15 degrees in this case. Uh, you can use that or we'll make kind of a rough sketch. So we say for us uh, two units is uh, this much of distance. This is one. Let's say this is one and then this is two. So that is two units for me. So I'm saying this point is point A, which is 245 degrees, where this angle is 45 degrees. Is that okay? So that is how we get the first coordinate point on the polar coordinates. B is one minus 120. Now minus 120 means what? Negative, you know, is clockwise, right? So clockwise means 60 and 60 120 degrees so that will be kind of here is that okay so that much here so this degree here is 120 degrees for us minus 120 degrees. is that okay now magnitude is one unit so so we'll say along this line that is my one unit so this is the point which I am saying is B for me so this is the point B and I'm saying B is 1 minus 120 degrees. Is that okay? So this segment here represents the point B. C is minus 260. Now how do we do this one? Now six, first we will actually sketch the image. So first we need to sketch C dash which is 260 degrees and then we'll reflect it on the pole right or we'll extend or rotate by 180 degrees right so r is 2 angle will make first image of this point 60 degrees okay so let us say this is 45 and so 60 degrees is kind of uh, let's say like this this is 60 degrees we need to go 2 so that is almost 2 okay so we said this is uh, 2 for us so that point is uh, the image of the point we really want and that is 260 degrees and the image will be you have to reflect it correct so reflect it on this side so so that should be along this line right so 
So, so 60 degrees will be along this line, maybe here, right? So it is not that accurate anyway. So twice the distance away. So this will be C for us, which is minus 2 and 60 degrees. Do you get an idea, right? So because, uh, okay, uh, right? So it, because this is minus 120, it's kind of same. Is that okay? So that is how we will get the point C on our coordinate plane. Now point D is 3, 5 pi by 4. So the angle is radius 5 pi by 4. So we can divide this in 2 pi by 4s. So this is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4. This will be 3 pi by 4, 4 and this will be 5 pi by 4, right? So along this length of pi by 4, so this angle we are calling as uh, 5 pi by 4 and the magnitude is 3 units so so let's say this is my 3 units okay so so we said this is is the point d which is 3 5 pi by 4 correct so that is how we can actually plot all these angles now here is a thinking question what happens when the angle is more than 360 degrees let us say let's say we have another point e and we are saying the magnitude is 2, the angle is, let us say, 400 degrees, right? What do we do then? Well, we know one full circle is 360, correct? 400 is 40 more than 360, so it will be kind of here, right? And magnitude is 2, so this point here will represent E, which would be 2, 400 degrees. Is that okay? But you have to show these circles, showing that you've gone one full circle and then 40 more. So likewise, you could do angles even more than 360 or 2 pi. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the very basic concept. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.